So uh, hello everyone. Today I am going to create a replica of uh, Danger Wall. Uh, it is a very uh, addictionful game for me, and I hope you will also like this game. So uh, let's start with uh, a sketch. So just create a 2D uh, 2D project. Okay, so create an 2D project. Uh, uh, M danger call replica, and don't forget to select 2D and create new project. Just hold on for a while. Okay, so very first we need to do a very first thing we need to do is the create the uh, resolution for our screen. So just add the 720 by 1080 in here and create a preset for the screen resolution. Okay, so I have selected this. Okay, now we need to create the scene and also create the environment for our main gameplay scene. So uh, first we need to create a uh, 2d sprite okay now we need that uh, one thing from internet so just go on google select the image and search for brick texture okay so just select one of the brick which you you like and uh, uh, i'm going with uh, okay so i'm going with this one save it anywhere okay, so just drag and drop into our project okay so uh, create a new folder and sprite okay just drag and drop this to here okay so uh, I'm going to crop it select multiple editor okay so if you are going to search serial, so just uh, open the asset manager from windows tab or package manager and search for 2d so just wait for loading the packages okay so it's 2D sprite and just going to install it. Wait for a while and uh, okay. So finally, we have the package of a sprite editor and click on now. Click on a sprite editor and uh, just crop this image to uh, just type and click on apply button and wrap mode to repeat okay so now don't forget to hit the apply button okay so i'm going to apply this sprite into our 
newly created sprite object okay so here we can see the wall texture or wall sprite in our scene view okay so now named to wall okay just create another empty object name it batch okay so just don't do anything and just drag and drop wall to patch to create the child object and uh, now we need to set the pivot so select the wall and set the position to 0 0 0 and then we are going to set the pivot to top of the wall so just look at it to here and here okay and now select the child object and drag it to downside okay and make it here okay so now we can see this is the top point of our wall object and now we can place it here okay so again one thing we need to readjust the pivot and set it to 0 0 0 on x and then select the child object and just drag it to according to the side of camera wall okay uh, i think it is better and okay so now we need to add the box collider on the wall so don't forget to select the box collider 2d okay so now one more thing we need to adjust the size of our wall okay so now just duplicate it and place it on the second side okay and just type and so now it is looking nice Okay, so just start creating the wall. Just create another 2D sprite object and select search for knob, and you will get this. Select the color to red, and you can also use a sprite uh, or some image. Okay, so I think this size of wall is sufficient for us or you can make it bigger. Okay, so I'm going to place it here. Now add the rigid body to our rigid body 2D and also circle collider 2D. Uh, okay, so we need to adjust the size of the circle collider because it is the radius of the collider is more than the sprite radius okay so don't forget to rename it to ball okay and one more thing we need to create a tag so add a tag with the name of ball and just assign the tag to our ball object okay okay so now I am going to create a new script. So here the all script. Okay, so just uh, select the edit, or uh, you can open it directly on uh, Visual Studio. Okay, so finally our wall script is here and. Uh, so first of all I'm uh, going to create a private digit body 2D okay then with R B and uh, okay and take a transfer it in the other method Okay, and write the RV is equal to get component 
okay, and we also need a vector uh, tool. Okay, so it is also private vector tool. B power, and we will set it here to G power is equal to new vector tool and just put the value 3.5L and 6L you can also change this value according to your need so it will increase uh, increment or increment in, in the power of uh, wall ok so uh, now we need to write code in the update method so first we need to check whether uh, Okay, so first we need to check whether the uh, mobile tab or the left mouse button is down. So input dot get mouse button down and check the zero. Zero means left click, one means right, and two for the middle mouse button. Okay. Uh, so um, set rb dot velocity is equal to vector 0, 0. first we set the velocity to 0 so that the, uh, the existing velocity should be 0 and then we apply the force to our rigid body that force now we use g power uh, and force mode to be should be impulse Okay, and one more thing we need to check if the which direction we need to we need to add the force on f axis so it is greater than 2 then v power should be negative 2 okay is equal to minus 2 okay 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 so we done it we just check the x component only okay else else the g power dot x should be 2 or positive 2 okay so now i'm going to check whether our function is working or not or is there any uh, error in our code so just hit the play button So I think it is working fine without any error. It is uh, our wall is jumping, but the direction is not changing. Okay, so just check where we are going wrong or uh, okay. So here we need to check for zero. Okay, so now now it is working. Okay, so now the next thing is going. Uh, we we should work on the camera move script. So just add the script name camera move, and it is also a very easy script to write. Okay, so just wait a minute. It is. Uh, so let's open the camera move script and uh, let's create a public game object and ball and just find okay so ball is equal to game object that point and pass the name as a string dot object and the line okay so 
now we have the distance for the wall object and now we also check the distance float distance list is equal to uh, we need the absolute value for the distance that function dot absolute means apps and just pass the transform dot position dot y and for dot transform dot position dot y okay and now check if the distance is greater than 3 So we will uh, we will move our camera uh, towards the wall direction. So uh, transform dot position is equal to new vector two. Okay. Uh, new vector two transform dot position dot x because we don't need to move the, our camera uh, onto the x axis and now uh, now we left the y value of our camera towards the map function dot large and first we need to pass the flow rate and flow speed and the time t or the rate of the change in the our float value okay so first we need to change our transform dot position dot y means the y uh, the y position of the camera and that is the target should be the y coordinate of our ball task the ball position y y and Okay, and the other should be 2. I'm going to use the speed for 2 and time dot filter. Okay, okay, so now it is done, and, and I don't think we need else anything. Okay so, now. okay, so now check whether our uh, camera movie script is working or not. Just hit the play button and there is a issue. Okay. Okay, so we need to write the position. Let's wait for compiling the script. Then hit the play button. So, okay, so I think the uh, speed is too fast. Okay, so uh, I think there is a problem with the coordinates, and so now I'm going to set the speed to again two, and now set the camera z value to zero. Okay, and everything on zero. Okay, and then. Let the 2D mode and just a little bit behind the camera. Okay, so okay, and then okay, so now uh, I think it is uh, better than ever. Our camera is moving downward and also on upward too. 
okay so now the second thing is uh, we need to spawn the side wall according to our need and so let's create another empty object and name it spawner okay and create the script name the spawner Just open the script and create an okay, so create a public game object array of fetch prefab. Okay, and one more of one more public game object. Then last fetch. Okay, so now in uh, in uh, starting we can spawn the five patches so that there is uh, uh, no blank space in our screen. So just create a for loop. For if i is equal to zero, where i is less than five and I plus plus plus. So now, okay, so um, first we check if our last patch is null means it is first patch. Okay, so then we uh, Game object, game object with the technology patch. Intensiate patch prefer and the uh, use random range. Zero to the length of the array okay and uh, okay, so just add the rotation continuum dot identity and uh, now we need to put uh, our transform location where position where the First pass should be initiated, so uh, we create the vector two dot zero. Okay. Else and okay. Don't forget to assign the last patch. Last pass should be patch. Okay. Else, now we need to check one thing. Okay, so just go to scene view and uh, switch to 2D. Okay, now select the our fetch and create prefab from it. So just drag it, select the page and drag and drop it to our uh, project view. Now select the page and move it. And if the x y value should be 0, 0, 0, then next pass should be on minus 9, okay, 9.8. Okay, so just delete it and just memorize the value. Okay, so okay, game object. Okay, just uh, copy this line. Even copy both the lines. Paste it here. And just set the position to no vector to zero. And 
last page dot transform dot position dot y minus nine point eight f okay so now I think our functions will be working okay so just select the just delete it select the spawner and here you can see the array so set the array range A to 1 and try this here ok and uh, let's play the name what I mean ok so that we can't see our patches so because the uh, because the z value is 0 so if we make it minus 1 I think now oh, it's zero. Okay. Okay. So just uh, uh, we need to set the jet coordinate. Uh, okay. So here is that. New vector three zero zero and one. Okay, that should be three and one. Okay, so now check what's going on in our game and I think it should be fine okay so it is working we just need to start our wall from some okay so just select the camera and the Okay, so now it is working fine with the camera movement also you can uh, decrease the camera speed to to for more smooth movement okay so now create some uh, create ring or some obstacles too so just drag and drop our uh, batch and uh, make a duplicate of the wall and Just keep it simple and add some obstacle like this. Okay, and uh, I'm going to create a ring. Okay, and select the knob, uh, select the UI sprite and Okay, so uh, 
just give it the color to uh, okay and we can also make it a little bit transparent okay and just add the box collider 2d Set the collider width. Don't forget to make it uh, extrusion and create a new deck. Okay. So now we have finished our air work and now open the wall script. Create a trigger enter trigger enter to the okay. So check if if the collision dot game object dot tag is equal to the ring, then destroy collision dot game object and also we need to spawn new patch so just go to spawner and here create a new method so it should be public otherwise we cannot uh, access it from another script so keep it public uh, create patch okay so just uh, copy these two lines and paste it here Okay, and, and then save it and go to wall script and here find object of type spawner dot create patch and just run it okay so now uh, when we touch the ring our new patch will be uh, spawned on the On the edge position okay so now I'm going to create a new folder for prefab so patch prefab just drag and drop here okay so our one prefab is this and then I move it to here So rotate it and create another patch. Then I copy this. You can also make different type of obstacle like spikes and jumper and uh, other things too. But I'm going to keep it simple. So I have created my new patch. Okay, so I'm going to create it and go to a spawner and create the length of three patches and assign the newly created patches to our uh, in a, in a array. Okay, and then with the play effect. So now we have created an infinite jumping wall game. Okay, so you can uh, you can create a multiple type of game and uh, you can see that uh, the trenched game link is on in the description
Okay, so it will never end actually. <laughs> Okay guys, for, thank you for watching uh, my tutorial and I hope you will create it and enjoy that tutorial. Uh, don't hesitate to ask the questions. So you can comment the new suggestions and ask if you want uh, any game tutorial. So I will create it for you exclusively. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.